So it looks like screen is actually already installed and everything's installed. So what screen does is well if you just type rtorrent it'll open rtorrent but when you close your SSH session or when you shut down your computer or your computer restarts then rtorrent on your VPS will shut down and you wouldn't want that. So what you do is do screen rtorrent and it opens up this cool menu. You can actually expand this and we can add stuff to it. So you, what you do is press enter and you right click from paste like you copy and you copy a dot torrent file from the internet and you right click to paste it in here after you press enter and it'll load it up but before that as you can see right here I uh, could not find a resource file rtorrent rc we're actually gonna go get that so to exit screen you do control a q and that terminates the screen and control a d uh, like detaches it so it runs in the background so what we need is the uh, rtorrent configuration file this just configures rtorrent for you and it makes it good to go so I actually have a file on my computer probably here we go and that's crappy to read but we'll just go here on the libtorrent project there's an rtorrent example and what you want to do is download download it and go find encryption and change this encryption on line 69 take that pound sign or comment sign out so it'll encrypt your torrents you can just read that if you want um, everything else is fairly fine and you can restrict upload rate and download rate max uploads just like a normal maybe uTorrent client or whatever it may be so I actually have a file already so let's actually upload that with FileZilla uh, yeah we'll do it here so you can in FileZilla you can store your sessions your settings your sites there you go site manager control s and I actually have all these uh, new site alien VPS so root then my password I would enter so you do like new site you would enter the host it'd be an SSH protocol this is encrypted file transfer protocol uh, port 22 but just the normal logon type user root and just click connect you could also have different users so maybe you could share it with your friends or whatever and you can store it in each of their home directories but you'd also need a different rtorrent configuration file for each user or you can just use the same one so let me upload this to my root folder and close that and now let's do ls lsl there, lsa there we go so there's my rtorrent file and that's all the settings so screen uh, screen minus R means return to the screen session. There's also list, I think. Never mind. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh crap. Kill all screen. All right. Uh, I think it's screen minus L. I, I'm not sure exactly. Anyways. Let's do screen rtorrent, and since we have a file, it'll be everything that we do on rtorrent will be encrypted, so all the traffic is encrypted. And let's just go to Ubuntu. Um, so on Ubuntu, Ubuntu, um, download and install we are going to previous versions and alternate downloads BitTorrent uh, let's do the 12.4 long-term support I like the alternate version because it's all command line or er, it's text-based and it doesn't use as much graphic power so as I said you press enter in the window then as, as you can see I did uh, 
oh, I just did this. So copy link location or copy link or whatever. As you can see in the bottom left corner, releases.ubuntu.torrent. So uh, you right click in PuTTY or enter right click and the link pops up. So it's just like paste. Then you click enter. Then the window refreshes and you use the arrow key to see the asterisk on the side right here. And then you do control S to start it and, contr and control D to stop it. So while that's loading, I can do uh, control A, D, uh, control A, then let go of all the keys and press D to detach the screen. So uh, as you can see in the process, you window, there's screen and R torrent. And then, then you can resume it by doing screen minus R. You can see it's downloading just fine. And you can just click exit and Look that you're seeding, you're going to be seeding that Ubuntu without using your own internet connection. So back here we can do, and you can see once that's done I wouldn't want to download it now but I can just download that to my uh, downloads directory and we're all set there. Um, so let me, I'll just do another example. So let's do so Linux Mint. It's another popular distribution. Let's make Debian. Downloads. Just click in, click in, click in. Cinnamon. Let's do yeah, I like that. Torrent. So on the Linux Mint, you can do again right click. Copy link location. I actually got to relog in, so just launch PuTTY, and you can. Oh, I should. Uh, you can store. You can store your IP address. So you type the IP address, and do save, and it'll save it down here. So like. Uh, test. Then I can do, test, and do save. So now that appears there, and I can load it every time. But I can just double click that. Log in as root. Screen minus R. Linux Mint. Loading, loading, loading. Okay. So then I use the arrow keys to go in between these. Do Control S to start it, and there it is. It's downloading. And if you uh, maximize the window, you can see the ratio of what you are downloading. So for instance after a couple days this will be at 32.00 so that means I've seeded 32 percent or 320 percent geez 320 percent so I've seeded a lot but uh, control A D then exit. That's all there is to it. Um, and as I said in FileZilla I can just uh, refresh the page and there it is, Linux Mint. Um, uh, also, uh, let's say you don't want to use your connection for something else. I enjoy downloading my AMD drivers through here, so let's just go find those. So, for instance, here I can download instead of downloading to my home computer even though I'd use like the same bandwidth I just I don't know why I do it sometimes just for the kicks so I would just log into my server again roots and then instead of doing screen I would just do wget this just, <clears throat> this just downloads a file and then I would right click and it would paste that, and I can just press enter, and it'll download it for me. But sometimes it's pretty slow since I'm maxing my connection, so I'll just cancel that by pressing Control C, Screen R. Hey, what do you know? It's still downloading. It's downloading at 5 megabits. About, well, we'll just say this about 3,000 kilobits per second. So that's pretty fast, and then the upload is 
fairly good. Then we can do Control A D. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, post in the comments. Have a good day.